Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I'm gonna record some videos with no makeup on, <laughs> my hair not being brushed, and my baby sleeping on me, because that's just what it's gonna be right now. So this is Isla, my newborn daughter, and she is five weeks old. And she naps on either me or my husband basically most of the day, uh, all day long. So she's on me right now. And in this video, we're gonna talk about moving from fear with money, fear and doubts with money, into the inner state of abundance. How to actually do that. I know a lot of people in particular who are struggling with money, you don't really know where to start when it comes to manifesting money or how do you create this internal experience of being a millionaire or of feeling abundant if really internally you have a lot of fear and perhaps doubt when it comes to money. So I'm gonna talk about that in this video. Before I jump in, my signature manifesting money course is on sale this week for $400 off for 40% off and it's called Embodied Millionaire. And it is a deep dive five module course that will take you through a process of really stepping into the inner state and the inner self concept of being a millionaire. So this process is everything I've personally done for myself to become a millionaire. And I basically outlined it, put it in a course and giving it to all of you if you feel like that's something you wanna join. So the link is directly below in the description if you want to join the course. Um, it's just gonna be on sale for two weeks. Okay, so let's talk about how to move from fear when it comes to money and doubts when it comes to money, basically the inner state of lack or not having, or maybe even the inner state, we can say a self-concept that feels scarce, a self-concept that feels like you don't have a lot of money. How do you transition from that position into the position of someone who does have money, who feels abundant, who feels like a millionaire? How do you make that jump? You want to always start, this is my opinion, you want to start small when it comes to manifesting things like money and also like love. And when I say start small, I mean, I feel that it is more important for you to be using affirmations and building belief systems that feel, um, that feel more believable to you and you can work your way into greater and greater belief systems. So what I mean by this is, if you are really struggling with money and you're telling yourself affirmations that you're a millionaire, most likely there's gonna be some resistance or feeling of disbelief inside of you when you're trying to do that. You're probably gonna feel like, no, that's not true. No, I don't believe it. And if you continue to try to tell yourself statements or affirmations or you know even imaginal acts that don't resonate and don't feel true to you in my opinion you're not really getting into that manifesting state the manifesting state is the embodied state of feeling like yes this feels good yes this could be who i am yes i'm becoming this person yes this is true and so for this reason you want to start with affirmations, all the inner techniques you're gonna do. So affirmations, you're gonna do acting as if, you know, if you do my course Embodied Millionaire, I really take you through all these different techniques. But any technique you do, scripting, imaginal acts, anything, you want to start those affirmations or those techniques in a place that feels a little bit more believable to you. So instead of saying, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, perhaps a better affirmation if you're still struggling with money is, I'm getting better and better at this. I'm learning how to manifest money. More money is coming into my life slowly but surely. Little bits of money are coming to me. I'm becoming more, abun more abundant day by day. Those are gonna be more believable for you. We can feel when affirmations are believable or not believable, and it's kind of on a spectrum. 
And you can tell if an affirmation is believable to you by the way it makes you feel internally. So we want to be doing techniques that make us feel hopeful, make us feel good, make us feel confident, make us feel like we are becoming this person. And therefore you really have to find the right wording for yourself. What's gonna make you feel good about money right now? What's gonna make you feel like you are progressing in the area of creating more money for yourself? Start with those types of inner conversations, inner techniques, affirmations, and work your way up. Because what will happen is when you do the inner work and you do it really well, you really will start to change. Your set point for how much money you will receive will change, it will go up, it will shift. And this is what happens eventually with particular self-concepts, you reach a point where it feels very natural to receive a certain amount of money. I've reached a point, which is kind of wild for me even to say now, but I've reached a point where creating a million dollars is actually really natural and normal for me. That's what happens. And it's just going to continue to go up and up and up from there because the more comfortable I am with a million dollars, then I'm more comfortable with $2 million, $3 million. You know, it just continues to happen. And so, and it becomes really natural. So your work is to really find, if you're in particular, if you're in fear about money, find the inner affirmations, imaginal acts, even to hone in on the amount of money that feels natural or feels more believable for you to receive, start there, work your way up into greater and greater amounts, okay? Thank you all for being here with me. I love being here with you. I'll see you soon. Bye.